Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the 1st of September, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what the sketch looks like this month, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of every month is pretty exciting here around my channel, and if you have been a longtime supporter, you know why. But if you are new to my channel, let me tell you a little bit about Sheetload of Cards before I get started. I like to stop by each month with a new free printable for my subscribers that shows you a sketch and then tells you how to cut your paper in the best way so you can make a sheet load of cards. Usually a sheet load is anywhere between 6 and 12 cards with about 2 or 3 pattern papers and some cardstock. Today I'll be showing you a look at that new sheet load, sharing my first set with you, and then at the end of this video I'm going to tell you how you can download the printable for free. Tomorrow I will be back to show you how I created that first set and my team of wonderful collaborators will be joining me to show you their sets. I have collaborators here on YouTube, over on Instagram, and on blogs. You can always find their links in that description box below. If you don't already subscribe to them or follow them, go ahead and do that now so you're all ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the September 2021 sheet load of cards. Before we get to that, I do have a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to Paper Trimmer Level Membership to Carol Reed Sanquinetti and Mary Lynn Cox. Thank you so much, ladies, for your support. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. And if you're interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Here's a look at the September 2021 sheet load of cards. Over on the left, as always, is the sketch. And then over on the right, I give you the supplies, tell you how many cards you'll yield. And if you ever just wanna make one card because you like the sketch but don't need a whole bunch, I do give you the dimensions for a singular card. And then down at the bottom, I give you some alternative ideas to try. Whether you flip pieces, rotate the sketch, leave off any embellishments, Sheetload of Cards is just a good jumping off point for you. This month, the yield is eight cards using two 12 by 12 pattern papers, three card stocks for matting, and four card stocks for card bases. Now, even though I do give the dimensions or the cutting guides today for 12 by 12 pattern papers, this is going to be a good one if you like to use 6x6 pattern paper, and later in the month I'll be back to share how you can do that. Another thing to note this month are the special instructions here. Now again tomorrow when I put the cards together I will go over those, but just a couple heads up. When you are making your sentiment or your focal point piece, you have your white piece or whatever color you choose to use is two and a half inches tall and then the matting piece for it is the same width but it is two and five eighths inches tall it's actually just a little bit longer just so you get a nice even one eighth inch border on the right side and the bottom you'll see here from the sketch that the mat is not all the way around during the process, I will show you how to cut these pieces and make templates to make that angle easier. But if you are a channel member, I will have a special free cut file for you that will be linked in our community tab tomorrow after I share the process. 
Now on my sketch, I do have a suggestion to maybe put a die cut shape here behind the sentiment piece, but you can do that or you can leave it off. That is up to you. If you make any cards using the September 2021 sheet load of cards, I would love to see them. We call it show us your sheet load here on my channel. And there are three different ways to do that. You can make a video, you can post pictures over on Instagram, or you can send me a card to my PO box for the end of the month video. Now, if you're going to do a video or an Instagram post, make sure to include the hashtags that I provide at the top of the printable. That way I can do a quick search and see what you have created. And other viewers can do the same thing as well. In the description box below, I do have an entire video of how to show us your sheet load with all of the guidelines of what you need to do. One thing I do want to point out is that this piece, PPA and PPC, are separate pieces. So you will align them at the top or bottom of your card base, and then this middle piece, PPB, will cover up that opening. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cutting guides. Page two always shows you how to cut your papers to make the most of it and to get all of the pieces you need for your card sets. Over on the left, I show you how to cut your two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, and you'll cut four of each piece from that sheet to yield 12 pieces. Now, another thing that's kind of special about this one is, for your CS3 pieces that are at the top and bottom of pattern paper piece B, those are actually two different pieces. I thought that if you just cut one inch strips, it would save a lot more paper than cutting a piece that was four and a quarter by, you know, three and a half inches tall or whatever. Just it helps you save on that cardstock. Now you could always cut that so it fills the back completely. That is up to you. Another thing that you could do with these strips is if you wanted to cut a decorative edge or punch a decorative edge in those, you could do that as well. And one would just be here at the top and one would be at the bottom. For CS1 and CS2, I do show you to have a full sheet of cardstock, but if you have enough scraps to make these, this would be a great way to use those up. Let's go ahead and see the main supplies I use for this month's cards. So for the last, I would say week, we have had a heat wave here that some days the heat index is over 100 degrees. So when I came down to my studio to make my cards for September, I was definitely wishing for fall. So I decided to go for a fall theme for my first set of cards. For my sentiment, I got out a scrapping for less stamp set and I used the happy fall y'all on that focal point. For my card stocks, both the matting and the sentiment and the card bases, I used off-white card stock and craft. I thought those were good for the fall. My two pattern papers came from a Michaels Hot Buy pad. It came out in fall probably a couple years ago, and I just picked out kind of one with a more colorful pattern and then a more faded kind of monochromatic pattern that went with this. I did add, of course, a few more tools and products to the process, but you'll see those tomorrow and I'll tell you about them then. Let's go ahead and see that first set. After making these cards, I already feel those cooler temps coming on. Now let me tell you how to download this month's printable. As always, the printable is free for subscribers to my channel. I don't make you email me proof or sign up for a mailing list or anything like that. We just go by the honor system here. So please make sure before you click on that link, and I'll tell you where it is in just a minute, that you are a subscriber to my channel. It is free for you and it's super quick. You just have to click on that subscribe button below this video. 
You're going to find the link to the September 2021 sheet load of cards in the description box below, right below the YouTube team links. Now it will say to watch the video for a password, but your password is just watching the video to this point to find out where that link is. That watching this far helps me to keep the sheet load free. Now you can either pull it up and view it on screen, or you can download it to your computer and print it out. I hope that you're excited for this month's sheet load and can't wait to get started. If you are, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now until my next video, which will be the process tomorrow, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.